The following review has been approved by Lord Carnage and the best of Classic Game Room. Welcome to Classic Game Room. Are you ready for the explosive, non-stop, action-packed thrills of playing pool on your Sega Genesis? If so, you're ready for Side Pocket. Originally released to the arcades in 1986 from Data East. Side Pocket. This is Side Pocket. Nice Porsche 928 there. You know what would make this game better is if you could mount M60s and a flamethrower on top of that Porsche 928 and then attack people with it and then transform into a robot and light the pool club on fire. Game over. And then as you're stomping on the bartender you could like mix your own cocktails and fly into space and this is how my mind works. And also that's what I want in a video game. If I wanted to really play pool, I, I, could, I could actually do that. The whole point of video games is to escape from reality, like driving a race car, shooting zombies, meeting girls. I see this game's got that covered, so you come here often. I see you're on your sixth Long Island iced tea and it's only 11 o'clock in the morning. This day's about to get a whole lot more exciting thanks to Side Pocket. It's a staring contest, and she always wins! Pardon me for making fun of it, it's just that I view pool video games in the same way that I view darts video games or video games solitaire. You do not need a video game to enjoy said activities. They're easy enough to do in real life. That being said, Side Pocket's not bad. It actually looks and sounds pretty good on the Sega Genesis. I like the music. It fits it perfectly. I totally meant for that ball to go in. This doesn't play at all like real pool. That, that's the thing. I actually like pool. I'm not, I'm not good at it. And I'm not any good at this game either, but this is like a strategy game. That looks and sounds a bit like pool. Here's what you do. You line up your shots and sink the ball so you can adjust the force of your shot. Where you're hitting the cue ball, you can even pull off some trick shots. But what you can't do is go all kung fu style with the pool cue and start stabbing people. If you can sink your shots without missing, you get some bonus points. If you can sink these shots in order, you get some bonus points. Woo! Fatality! They should have geysers of blood spewing out of the pockets when you sink, sink your shots. And the thing is, you know I'm not kidding either, that would be amazing. Ooh, I get the slow blink. You know what that means. She's a replicant! Shoot her! Alright, this, this is a subtle hint. What the Genesis is doing right here is it's telling you to play Road Rash instead of Side Pocket. Maybe Super Hang On. Nice drums, good stereo effect in there. I, I really dig the music. I also like the cue ball boogie. This kind of makes me want to play OutRun. Or really any number of other games on the Genesis. I just couldn't get into Side Pocket. And I can't fault it for necessarily doing anything wrong. It's just not enough like real pool to make it an exciting pool game. You don't have real analog controls or anything, so it's, it's very difficult to get the shot the way that you actually want to get the shot. You know, does that make, I'm doing a terrible job explaining this. If I was in this situation, right here in real life, on a real pool table, looking at the balls as they are here, what I would do is get another drink and go play Pac-Man. It's kind of neat that you can shoot the balls in order, that gives you some bonus points. It's tough to do. The sound effects are good, and I, I like the floating disembodied hand. That's that's pretty cool. Side pocket, however, is time that would be better spent playing really any number of other good Sega Genesis games. But I've still got a classic game room shout out, and thank you to send to my man George from North Brunswick, New, New Jersey. Jersey. 
which is uh, where that guy is standing, right? That must be Jersey City. There's a trick shot mode where you break glasses of brandy on the pool table. Not sure who would actually let you do that to their table. This also has one or two player gameplay, and while it's not a bad game for what it is from the era, it's, it's not a game for me or your Sega Genesis, because let's be honest, it would rather be playing Revenge of Shinobi and you know it. The Best of Classic Game Room is now on DVD, Blu-ray, and Hyper Laser Vision Album Set.